Hello dear learners, in our last video we had seen how to create a jar file using a glyph. This is what this is the example that we had seen when we, we had learned how to create a jar file using Eclipse. In today's video we are going to talk about how to create a jar file uh, from console or through a jar command. Here in this particular shape project if you remember we had created a jar file for shapes package and shapes dot triangular package. We are going to do similar today that for the shapes and shapes triangular package we will be creating a jar file and then again in this particular test project that we had created jar test if you haven't seen that video please check that out here uh, of how to create a jar file in eclipse and how to use it in your code i'll share a link here for you also i will share it in the description box so you can check that out so we will be using that here the way we had used shapes dot jar we will be creating our jar file and we will be using it here in the project. So we will remove this and try to use the new one that we create. Okay. So let's get started. So here as I said what we are going to do is we are going to use these two packages. So if you see here this is my shape project. Inside that there is an src folder com learning are my packages and shapes is the package. So the and shapes also has triangular. So uh, the, if I say shapes, shapes and triangular both will get included here. Now, uh, understand that uh, when you want to create a jar file from command prompt, you need a jar command. Now, where do you find this jar command? So, uh, you need to find out where your Java is installed. In my case, it is installed in C program files. So, you can go to C program files, Java and your JDK. So, wherever your JDK is included, you need to, uh, you know, installed, you need to go there. Inside that, you have a bin folder. In this bin folder, you can find this jar.exe. This is the jar command that we are going to use. So, there are, you know, whenever you want to create a jar, you know, there are two steps. One is you need to set this path on your, you know, console when you are trying to create the jar and you need to use the jar command. Now, I will explain you both how to do it. But firstly, let us understand what is, uh, you know, uh, or rather how this particular jar command is used. So, let us let's see that example in a ppt or you know let's see let's see uh, the syntax for how to write the jar command so if you see uh, here is our jar command so you need to say the word jar you need two minimum options that is c and f as you can see the option c indicates that you want to create a jar file and f says that you want the output to go to a file rather than to the standard output okay std out means standard output jar file that you see here the word is basically the name of the jar file that you want to create you can even pass a path here the location where you want your jar file to go so you can even provide a location here and the input files this is where we mention our packages or if there is a specific file that i want to include in the jar that is what i can mention here again understand this is creating a jar file which can be used as a library the way we had used it in the previous video we created a jar file and used it in a different project to access the classes, interfaces, whatever that you created inside that particular class. So, you can do that. So, that's there. So, you, these are the various options. Again, understand this C and F, there is no mandatory order that C should come first and F should come later on. It can come in any order, but you have to make sure there is no space between C and F. So, that's important. One thing that you need to consider. You can pause the video for a minute and check out all this, you know, uh, information that is being given about it. And then once you've done with this, we can go ahead with... Uh, the implementation. So, hopefully you have paused the video and checked out all this information. So, let's get into creating the jar file. Again, one more important thing that you need to remember before creating a jar file is all the files that you want to generate a jar of, you need to compile all those files and you, you need to provide a class file whenever you are creating jar using the jar command. So, uh, in my case, what I have done is I have already compiled my project in through Eclipse, you can do it manually also through console and whatever class files that I have are being stored here in the bin folder. So, in bin, com, learning, shapes, you can see I have all my class files inside triangular also I have my class files. So, what I want to do, what I need to do is whenever I want to create my jar file, I need to come here up to the bin folder. Okay, up to the bin folder I need to come and then I can pass on the path and create my jar file. So, here in my console, you can see I have gone up to D, OSHA, others, learning, shape, project and bin. Once you come here, the first thing you need to do is you need to set the path of your 
you know jdk bin as i had shown you earlier here in my uh, you know uh, jdk in your c c program files in my case it is here it might be a little different in your case you need to find that out so in c program files java jdk bin this is the path that i need to set so what you can do is you can copy this path from here in case if you are in windows you can copy this from here and you can say set path is equals to and you can paste in double quotes you can paste this path now why double quotes because program and files has space otherwise we create a problem so you can put it in double quotes and then set the path now how uh, you can see there is nothing is coming in the output so how do you make sure that the path is set for that you can just say path and press enter you can see it is showing us the whole path that we have set now let's create the jar so for that we will use the jar command we will say jar space cf Space. We need to pass the path where we want to create the jar file. So I want to create it in the Kosha, others, and learning. Your path could be any path that you want. I want it here, and I can say sample shapes dot jar. So this is going to be the name of my jar file. Sample shapes dot jar. Then I need to provide the location where my files are. So if you see here, my path is uh, shapes project. Inside that bin and com. So we are already in the bin. So I need to say com learning and shapes. So here in my command prompt, I need to say space. Then I need to say uh, com slash learning slash shapes. So if I mention up to here, it should create my jar file. Here you can see it has all the class files that are available. So I'll say this much and I'll press enter. So if you come here in Uh, other learning you can see sample shapes or jar has got created so now to use it in our project what we need to do is we need to go to eclipse and here you can see there is already shapes or jar that were created in the previous video is there so what we'll do is we'll remove this from our build path we say build path remove from build path so this is gone and you can see the code has started throwing errors okay and then what we'll do is we'll try to include our jar file so we'll right click on our project go to properties and say add external Jars and we can select our jar from sample shapes for jar and then we say open and we say apply and do. So you can see the error has gone now. It has started taking it. You can see here in sample shapes for jar we have both the packages. We have com learning shapes which are circle class which we are using in this course and it also has triangular dot class. Again, one difference here is in this particular jar there are no source files. It was the part there. In our previous jar file, which was the case, which is not here, that also can be done. In case if you are interested in knowing it, please mention that in the comments below, and I'll share you uh, the steps of how to do that also. So this is it. We this is how you can create a jar file using command line and add it into your project, into another project, and use it in your code. So that is it for the day. In case if you like my videos, please click on the like button, subscribe to my channel. and share my videos with your family and friends so that even they can get knowledge from my videos and learn something new every day thank you bye bye